Can you make a living with Blender? That is the question and today I'm gonna answer it. Before I begin, I really wanna thank you guys for 12,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. I don't wanna stretch it, but this really means a lot. It really motivates me to keep on with the videos and from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Today I'm in a bit different environment than usually because I'm traveling and in case of any background noises, sorry because it's a little bit loud out there, but without further ado, let's now jump into the video. So can you make a living with Blender? And by saying living, I really mean like a full-time living, not just making a few bucks here and there by selling a 3D model or helping a friend of a friend with modeling a teapot. Is Blender itself enough for me as a creative person to rely on it? Or will I have to switch to a professional or industry standard application sooner than later? So without keeping you hanging, the short answer is yes, Blender is enough, but it also depends. If you want to work in a modern game development company or in a VFX studio, you have to be prepared to know more than just a one 3D application. No matter what's your tool of choice, if it's Blender or any other uh, commercial application, you'll have to learn additional software and adapt to the studio's workflow. But what if you want to be an independent creator, a freelancer or a small agency owner, or maybe you just need a 3D tool to help you out with the normal creative stuff that you're doing every day? And again, the answer is huge yes for Blender because it not only allows you to become completely independent from the expensive corporate level 3D applications that are out there, but with enough skill and experience, it is really possible to make a pretty decent living with this completely free open source piece of software. Now, I know it may sound quite obvious to some of you, but to me at least, it really wasn't that obvious three or four years ago, even though I already had quite a lot of experience working as a professional 3D artist. That's why I decided to share my story because I really hope it's gonna be uplifting to those of you who are still out there hustling and wondering if it makes sense to keep on pushing with Blender. Well, I am an independent creator right now and I'm doing it all thanks to Blender. Long story short, I started using Blender back when it was still in 2.40x version. If you remember these times, you're probably making good money with it today. So back in the days when I was studying architecture, I had to learn a 3D tool that would help me to create architectural visualization. I couldn't afford any commercial application and I didn't want to steal it. So. I found out that there is something called Blender. And back in those days, there really weren't that many tutorials and free uh, resources to learn it as we have today. But I really wanted to keep pushing and step by step, I was learning it. Then after the studies, I got my first job as a 3D modeler at a pretty good company. And I got this first job almost exactly 10 years ago, so it was possible to make it with Blender even then, when it was way less popular than it is today. After that, we've run a small agency with a couple of friends, and later I've moved to Germany where I was a freelance designer for a big creative agency for almost two years. Through all those years, Blender was always my main tool of choice and I did 95% of projects using it. And some of the projects were really huge AAA gigs that I'm pretty sure most of the people won't believe if I told them they were done in a completely free and open source software. The problem I had was I couldn't share most of my works because of the non-disclosure agreements and yet at the same time it was driving me crazy when people were saying, well, if you want to work in a big company, if you want to work on the big projects, you have to get to the professional and, you know, industry standard applications. I couldn't even redo and share the easiest projects that I did because, well, most of them were built solely from the external 3D assets. Back in the days, it was really hard to get assets that were made exclusively for Blender. And well, one day I had this crazy idea. What if we make our own Blender assets library completely 
from scratch ourselves. And essentially this is how Chocofour came to life. A group of crazy people doing a crazy thing for Blender. And by the way, don't ask me for the name because no one knows what it means, even I. Jokes aside, my idea behind Chocofour was to create a place online where I can share some of my projects that I actually earned money with using Blender so the other Blender users can, well, use those projects to earn money as well and to make a better living. The idea sounds like a lot of work and trust me, it is a lot of work, so obviously I couldn't do it all myself. That's why I used some of the connections from the agency I was running with my friends. And together with a very small group of people, we started building the first assets for our Chocofour models library. Back in the days, I was doing it all in my spare time, aside to the regular freelance job that I had. But it soon became pretty obvious to me that I need way more time to focus on the Chocofour development, so I had to take a leap of faith. So I've tried saving some money and decided to quit my pretty lucrative agency job in 2015 and oh boy, that was a pretty hard year. My bank account went dry pretty quickly because I was financing the Chocofour development from my own pocket, I also wasn't getting enough projects as a freelancer and I was living in a Munich back in the days which is one of the most expensive cities in Germany. I couldn't afford to live in a city center any longer and decided to move to the suburbs and the only thing I could afford back in the days was a garage. Yes, an actual garage which was adapted to the 40 square meter apartment. The funny and ironic thing was that place was located in the most expensive neighborhood around Munich. So every single time someone asked me where I live right now, I said, yeah, I live here. And everyone was like, ooh, you must be doing pretty well. But man, I wasn't. The place was bloody cold during the winter. there was no warm water. During the summertime it was pretty okay because there was a garden but that also brought the insects and by the time I was leaving the place there were cockroaches already. But hey, I took the leap of faith and decided to follow my dreams. Um, sorry, my camera discharged. Um, so where did I end it? Garage, right? So back in those days, my goal was pretty simple. I wanted to limit my expenses to minimum and focus 100% on Choco for development. The most significant breakthrough came by the end of 2016, where we started getting more and more positive feedback from people using Choco for assets. And within the next two years, I managed to get a few clients independently. So that brought a little bit more stability to the business in general. So right now as a Chocofor, we have two small offices. This one here actually is the first office here in Poland and my second office is in Germany. Together with a few freelancers, we work almost exclusively on a remote basis. But what's the most important thing is that we do everything in Blender. And I really don't want to look like a Blender fanboy. I'm personally pretty far away from those software battles on the internet. Honestly, up to this day, even after all those years of experience, it still blows my mind that you can just take this completely free 3D application and make a living using it. All you need apart from that is a pretty decent laptop or a workstation, uh, a room so no one disturbs you and just a little bit of passion so you don't give up after a few weeks. So whether you are a graphic designer, a 3D artist, someone who wants to become independent, be a freelancer, you should never give up on Blender. From all the 3D applications, it's definitely the one that's easiest to approach. You just download it for free, unzip or install and run after a few seconds. It also has the biggest and most helpful community online and it has the most free resources to learn from. Speaking of learning, you can check out my Choco for Interior Visualization course, which is linked in the video description. It's the course I have created to train my own team so they can do the actual commercial projects in Blender for my company. The course consists of 12 chapters and over 13 hours of videos where I try to basically upload my brain 
so other people can use those 10 plus years of experience I have in a field of professional visualizations in Blender. You can also consider donating to Blender Foundation because they are the ones responsible for developing this amazing piece of software. Guys, it's 2.30 a.m. and I'm both recording and editing this video at the same time and I can see through the cuts how I'm falling apart. So if you have any questions regarding a Blender-centered business and you would like me to answer them, just leave them down in the comments. I will pick the best ones and create a separate video out of them. And as for now, I really want to thank you for watching. Please remember you are the best. Keep blending and stay on top of everything you're doing. See you in another video. Bye bye.